When the clouds of war finally lifted, 90% of the beautiful medieval city of Gdansk was in ruins. Its people scattered, many never to return from the Nazi death camps built throughout Poland. The rebuilding of the city was a priority, and today it flourishes again as a vibrant Baltic trading centre. The docks and shipyards resound with work, and the river provides safe anchorage to leisure crafts of all shapes and sizes. New highways, office blocks and shopping precincts make Gdansk look like many other European cities. But even as it grew and flourished as a modern city, thoughts returned to the medieval wonders that had been lost. Or had they? Certainly they had been destroyed, but much of their foundations remained and the archival memories could be utilised to do more than simply start afresh to build a completely new city. The ambitious decision was reached to actually reconstruct the medieval centre of Gdansk, just as it had looked for centuries before 20th century warfare destroyed it. What the millions of worldwide tourists come to see now is partly artificial, but wholly within the spirit of a city whose people refuse to be suppressed. There were some suggestions that one should leave the city intact, in ruins, as a warning for the future generations. But luckily, some of the walls were still standing, they were intact. That's why they made the decision to reconstruct the city from scratch. They Once again, the glorious merchants' houses on either side of the long market and the surrounding streets look down on a bustling centre of commerce, a place to meet friends, a place for refreshment and relaxation, a place to celebrate, a place full of genuine community spirit. Gdansk is now a reincarnation of its old self, thankfully not spoilt by the massed frontages of identical international shops which have diluted the individuality of many other cities. It's almost like amber, the fossilised gemstone of the Baltic area which glitters for sale on every corner, attracting those who enjoy its beauty and are fascinated by its age. Poland is once again an independent state, defining its own political destiny. The mood is positive, but even here and now it is necessary to occasionally remind ourselves of our darker past, lest we forget. Gdansk shared the worst aspects of man's destructive powers with other great cities of the world. Hiroshima, Dresden, Coventry. We need to remember. We must not forget. We need to teach our children the lessons of that past so that they do not repeat those mistakes. Life is like a bubble. The surface film of civilization which holds it all together is very thin and fragile. To survive, we need to value each other and hold on tight to the links between all people. If not,